Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Indra Neal. Uh, I'm from Two Sigma Data Clinic, um, and I'm going to be talking about switching to PM tiles. So just briefly about Two Sigma. Two Sigma is a uh, financial sciences company based in New York City. Um, Data Clinic is a pro bono initiative of Two Sigma. Uh, we work basically doing skills-based volunteering uh, with our uh, many staff members as volunteers um, for nonprofits, uh, government agencies, and academic institutions. Um, on the engineering side, which is where I work, we have kind of two discrete chunks that sometimes mix. One is bespoke uh, projects with nonprofits, and then one is purely open source. And I want to talk a little bit about something I did with one of those open source projects today. So uh, this is uh, TREK, or Transit Resilience for Essential Commuting. It's basically a climate risk uh, for transit station visualization that we made as part of the Census Opportunity Project last fall. Um, Obviously, part of like one of, I mean, as I'm sure a lot of you know, a lot of part of that is going to be bringing, bringing in data from OSM. Also, part of it's going to be visualizing data using OSM. So for this project specifically, I got to use uh, PM tiles, which is a uh, cloud optimized and compressed uh, single file archive format for both vector and raster. Um, and I got to try it out here. And it's important for us to do that internally on stuff that we make, because uh, the question I, I like to ask myself is you know should nonprofit tech teams switch to the new technology that we're trying in our internal open source work? Um, and I'll just jump right into what I think is the good and the bad. Um, so the good is there's only a few steps to start. Um, you don't have any third party APIs to hand off necessarily. And with a small caveat, um, it does work really well for city sized projects. And I didn't go into into it in too much depth, but uh, Trek is a city size. Uh, visualization. Um, the caveat is, of course, that you know if you're not somebody who's used to thinking about base map data and cloud storage, and maybe you're just somebody who's you know focusing on implementing a product for uh, either a nonprofit client, or maybe you're you know somebody helping out a nonprofit or something like that. Uh, you will have to think about these things, and that can be kind of a hang up. Um, so I'll do a brief tutorial on how uh, this works right now, and how I found it in terms of ease of use. Again, with that uh, kind of hat in mind of you know, the nonprofit uh, partner that we work with. So I'll break it into four steps, uh, getting data, converting data, hosting and viewing. And I'll talk a little bit about how I felt in terms of ease of doing those things. Um, so getting map data, I thought um, is probably the thing that I've seen the most movement in, but also is something that's uh, not necessarily there yet in terms of like extreme ease of use. Uh, this slide's going to be messed up because I can't figure out the uh, presenter view, but um, I'll do a little manual action here. Um, if you've done any kind of OSM data, as I'm sure a lot of you have, it's kind of a story of the data goes from small to big. So either extracts at a local level all the way up to like planet sized files. Um, and there's a talk on Sunday, um, I believe, about protomaps base maps, which is another kind of element in the protomaps umbrella um, that stitches these things together in a way that makes it a little bit more easy to work with. Um, but again, I think this is something that if you're not comfortable with, it might be kind of a tricky area. Um, generating PM tiles is another thing that I thought um, is getting better, again, with that aforementioned uh, base maps tool. I did some work that I haven't contributed back where I kind of made it so that you could fetch data from a separate extract service uh, in a way where if I wanted a city specific thing, I could get that. Um, again, I think this is something that for the, you know, the people that I work with a lot um, on the nonprofit side, this is something that's still not necessarily all the way there. It's not necessarily as easy um, as certain things that are out there. Um, so what about bringing your data? I think this story is pretty settled. Um, using the PM tiles tool is pretty easy to kind of pipe in uh, MB tiles data and get out PM tiles data. As far as hosting and viewing, um, the two kind of major documented areas are the ones that I tried. Um, so CDNs um, versus, or and also, going to like something like GitHub pages. For Trek, I used GitHub pages. It was pretty straightforward. Um, it worked really well with the use case I had, which again was, you know, one city at a time. Um, the rendering layer is uh, also pretty straightforward. That documentation is something I just followed. Um, so if you're able to kind of put a map together, it's something that I think is worth attempting in this case. And so for kind of a final verdict as my time comes to an end here, um, as you can probably hear me say, I think if you can manage to think about data and storage, um, and if you have that time or if that's something you're curious in, um, 
I suggest making the switch um, or at least giving it a try. Um, otherwise, I guess I would say try another tool or buy something different. Um, you know, if it's not something you have the time to kind of work with. So uh, that's kind of the the overview and the the bulk of what I wanted to say today. Um, I would like to kind of tell everybody if you're you know interested in or if you know any nonprofits or you work at one um, that work on you know any kind of data problems, we do pro bono engagements with clients. Um, we're also, as I mentioned, kind of standing up this open source vertical. So if that's something you're curious about, um, we're always looking to you know have conversations and talk to people about what they have in mind. Um, you can find us here. Um, CS Data Clinic is usually the handle or um, data clinic at twosigma.com. So that's it for me. Thank you so much. Bye.